Hey everybody, this is Birch. Um, one of the great parts about comics, and, and the, as I mentioned, the comic store conversations where people can get intensely aggressive about the most mundane, kind of bizarre niche opinion. It's uh, it's one of the amazing things about comics. It's also one of the annoying things about comics because that same philosophy and attitude is, is what drives a lot of kind of craziness today. Uh, a friend is uh, complaining about just because this, this backseat driving micromanagement of uh, how, how he's doing his business. And it's, it's I, yeah, I would be tired of that too. Very, very tired of that. Um, it's, it, it gets, it gets very tiresome. Uh, but this bell is, is more like the other. It's, it's old school conversations. Um, it's good. So let's get to this, this question. It's a good one. It says, Dear Perch, I want to thank you for all your hard work. I know you take many spears for people to throw your way. I see how it's, I totally see how it's burning you out with all their bullshit. I, people said that, that the videos sound like I'm burned out. And in some ways, yes. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of factors there, but, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm hanging in. I, 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 you need to get more enthusiasm in my voice, but we'll get, we'll get back to that. I, I think, you know, one of the things is I put out so many opinions and so many things out there. People have finally, you know, you, you're starting to figure out kind of where I sit and I'm sure that doesn't sit well with some people either, but that's fine. I don't whatevs, uh, as they say. Uh, but I still love the comic conversations. So let's see. I've messaged you a few times about stuff you've referred to as old school comic conversations because I've got, I'm tired of the social media tribal crap. I got so sick of it that I deleted all my social media stuff and broke the habit four years ago. Good for you. Now I find myself okay with just enough news to know everything's still on fire and people suck. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be that way for a while. Uh, when it comes to comics, I like what I uh, I like what I like and don't read what I don't. Not sure if you remember this, but there's a big shitstorm over someone in the Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. Uh, there was a big shitstorm over someone in the Hal Jordan um, and the Green Lantern Corps at and at the time, uh, I was nowhere near aware of it. I don't remember this. Um, I like the run, uh, but a lot of people hated the guy calling him a Nazi or whatever. That was a lot of build up to this question. I do not remember this. Um, was it I, 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 a, a character inside of that? Or are we talking about the creative team? You may be talking about the creative team. I don't know. Because um, of that signature on the Sinestro stuff. I, I'm not sure. Um, I do know that the Green Lantern Corps, though, and I'm curious if other people remember this, uh, at times has been accused of kind of like an analogy for a fascist police state. And, uh, it's, it's somehow supporting, you know, it was, it was uh, during the, uh, black lives matter protests a couple of years ago. Uh, people were saying that, you know, the green lantern Corps needs to be examined and relooked at and reworked. And, and, and they, I think somebody was like, we need to defund the green lantern defund. Like what? Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. That's what Jeff Thorne did by destroying the central power battery. It's, it's all coming into place now. Anyway, um, I, I remember that was going on. I, yeah, well, that was a lot of build up to this question. Okay. Back to now. How big an impact do you think it would have on the comic industry? If people would lay off social media and allow people to like what they would like, I know this is an impossible scenario, but my God, uh, I think the overall mental health of our society, think of the overall mental health of our society. If that would happen. Absolutely. And then, Little P.S. here. Enjoy the video with you and Joe on Justice League Story Pitch, where Superman is a crazy man that kills himself. Love to have more of those videos. Give you a lot of laughs. Uh, we'll do more of those. Um, so, a couple things. I, I definitely things would be healthier if people got off. I mean, I, I, <laughs> phrasing uh, got off uh, social media. Sorry, uh, but because it, it, the, the problem is that, that social media, which was meant to connect people, it, it accomplished that. People got connected. And then bored with the connection, started attacking each other. So it's it's served its purpose. I, I don't know where it goes from here, but it's it's there's no there's no upside anymore uh, to where it can go. It's just it's just people flinging arrows at each other. Um, but the the other for the other part is you know if you're a creator, uh, writer, artist, editor, whatever. The, the funny part is you've seen how uh, social media destroys careers, and it does. Um, and it's, it's sometimes what you expect. It's sometimes what you don't expect. You know, you find yourself liking something you think is innocuous. And then the original poster turns out to be, I, I don't know, some, some villain of some kind. And, and then people are coming at you via association and think for a moment of all the hours that you spend, not 
communicating, not enjoying. Okay, even doom scrolling at 2 a.m. down Twitter, just looking for, I don't know, whatever, you know, obsessed with uh, this or, or finding a, a particularly bad hot take and going through all the replies. Not even talking about that time. Think about all the time you spend having to, uh, you know, rephrase, readjust, uh, manage somebody who's upset with you for some reason over something you said or a DM didn't get answered in a proper way. Think of all that emotional drama that you put up with. I cut, I, I'm so severely back from Twitter. I, I spend less than, I, ha, I mean, less than an hour a week easy and probably less than a half an hour a week. I'll go on in brief little spurts and just post a bunch of nonsense. And so you'll see in my tweets, like there's a bunch of stuff that in 10 minutes, I post like five or six, seven things. And then I'm gone for two days. And that's how I use it. I still go and I'll try and me- message uh, some people in DMs, but I don't like it. I don't like the format. I don't like the way the communication works. And even there, with this limited amount, there's still misunderstandings that come up. Because, you know, Twitter wants you to have longer kind of nuanced conversations with thought behind them, but its format is quick typing. And so in that world, you get misunderstandings few, you know, easily. And so, so I go back to, if you're somebody in comics, I mean, this applies to everyone, but if you're in comics... Getting off Twitter, just deleting it, closing your account, gives you a, a, like a 450% better chance of not getting fired off a book in the future, not losing a job. Like I, I saw somebody say something similar for uh, journalism. There's this uh, Washington Post reporter who is, uh, you know, basically uh, the right wing is uh, applauding her right now because she is, uh, you know, exposing a bunch of hypocrisy within the Washington Post. Which, again, not the hardest thing to do. But anyway, she's like, behind the scenes, she's portraying it as a crazy boys club with, you know, no standards and a lot of, uh, just a lot of garbage. And the right wing loves to see the mainstream media, unless it's Fox or Newsmax, exposed in that way. They're very excited to see it. So they're cheering her on. You got a bunch of the bigger name uh, right wing kind of commentators, bloggers who are, you know, like hail argument, uh, they're hailing her as being a hero. But what they're forgetting is that this is the exact same person, exact same woman who a couple of years ago on the day Kobe Bryant died, uh, did a, uh, just a reminder, he's a rapist and did an entire, uh, an article, you know, tar- you know, bringing up, you know, Kobe Bryant being a race, being a, sorry, a, a rapist, a racist rapist. And everybody hated her for that. I mean, and, and rightly so. It was like a terrible timing. Mean, there, there's this whole end left wing was defending her like, ah, why should she have to, you know, not tell the truth even if he died? It's a, so there's this whole drama the other direction just a couple of years ago. And people have forgotten it's the same miserable person who, uh, who, who did this. And so anyway, my point here is I saw a bunch of, uh, of tweets going, you know, if you're a journalist, Laying off Twitter, not posting, gives you a far higher chance of keeping your job and not getting involved in nonsense. And I think the same thing is true with comics, let alone your own mental health, for sure. But getting, but, but job security, no matter who you think you are, no matter how good you do it, no matter how friendly you are, it doesn't matter. It's going to catch up with you. It is inevitable. The best case scenario is that you don't get fired or you don't lose work because of it, but you only destroy, you know, hundreds of hours of your time every year. Best chance scenario. A lot of people go on and on about, uh, you know, takes it uh, Heather Antos does on Twitter. Well, look at, look at Heather Antos' career. You know, gone from Marvel, went to uh, some other, like, esports company, gone from there, over to Valiant, gone from there, over to IDW. Not one of the senior people at IDW, not one of the, the influent, not, not managing properties that, that matter to that company, particularly I star Trek. Sure. But, but nothing of substance. And if you reverse the clock back to when she was at Marvel, uh, she was one of the bigger names over there, handling bigger books, doing bigger things. Her career was in a much better position, but all over social media and all the other stuff too. But but this is somebody who wouldn't shut up about it. Meanwhile, 
you take a look at, you compare her to, say, Alana Smith. Alana Smith still tweets far more than she should, and she is absolutely going to head down the same track, but still much, much less than Heather Antos. Now, where's Alana Smith? Hey, what do you know? Still over at Marvel, gotten higher profile gigs, I believe has been promoted a few times. Cool. There's a direct cause and effect here between the amount of, of silly nonsense that you stir up on social media and its impact on your career. And it cuts right, left, all, all political directions, all that. It hits everybody. The smartest thing you can do for your job security in your career is to get off that site. Again, your odds of uh, tweeting the wrong thing, getting the wrong people mad, stirring up drama, you know, and, and I, I get in and uh, people will come running in here just to want to say that, uh, no, but, you know, you're not beating up on Antos enough. I mean, look, her career has done that to herself. There's no beating. I mean, there's somebody who's who is actively steering their career into oblivion. No matter how you want to spin it, no matter how many people clap back or cheer, whatever it happens to be on uh, on Twitter, to say in 2022, hey, I went from managing really big properties in Marvel, you know, five six years ago, to you know the Star Trek line over at IDW is not a good career progression. Now, granted, a counter-argument to this might be, hey, the pay is such garbage uh, in both companies. We're not, you know, <laughs> what what does it matter? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, for all we know, uh, and probably so, IDW is paying more than what you got at Marvel. But anyway, and that is not a good career arc. That's all I'm saying. So for everything else, no matter how many times uh, you know, Mark Brooks comes in and hearts a tweet, uh, this is where the career is. This is where, this is the direction. So it, the best, I, I've done this video before, or parts of it, the best advice I could give, certainly somebody in comics, is stop tweeting. Get get off phrasing. I don't Get off Twitter. It, it, is, uh, it, is, it is not helpful. It's, it, think of it as job security insurance, just... Get, get yourself free from it. Your your odds of surviving in the industry go way up. And so does your free time, because you're doing less of it. As for the mental health of everybody else, uh, sure. I mean, with anything, comics, uh, you know, act, hiking, biking, activity, you, you know, it's it's what you, you get what you want out of it. Um, if, if what you want is kind of silly middle school gossip and drama, then, you know, more power to you. Just know that everything you put out, uh, it's, it's, well, you know, it's, it's like, I think it, you get to the point where Twitter should have like a little warning label on it, like cigarettes does. Warning, you know, using this site can be detrimental to your health. Eventually, you will get fired from your job. Every, every tweet is a risk. <laughs> That'd be funny. All right. Thank you very much for the mail. Thank you much for the uh, keep insane in this insane world. And thanks for listening.